Hey taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez CPA here, founder and CEO of Accounting to Scale. And today I want to talk about large tax debt. Owing the IRS can give people a lot of anxiety. I'm here to let you know that you do have some options. If you can't pay the IRS in full, they do allow you to set up a payment plan, but that does come with downsides. So we'll talk about them in this video. When you can't pay the IRS in full, they typically charge you interest and penalties. Those penalties relate to the fact that you have not been able to pay your tax due in estimated tax payments during the year and by the due date. Unfortunately, you continue to be charged interest and penalties even within a payment plan. The IRS does this because they're trying to incentivize you to pay them off as soon as possible. The IRS currently offers two types of plan, a short-term plan, and a long-term plan. The short-term plan is when you are about to come into some money to pay off the IRS, you just don't have it all at the moment. A short-term plan is when the IRS believes you will pay them within 120 days. That is approximately four months. Typically for this type of short-term payment plan, they don't charge you a setup fee. Now, if you need a longer term plan, the IRS will allow you to pay them up to 72 month term, which is approximately six years. For this type of payment plan, they do charge a setup fee, and that setup fee can vary anywhere between $30 to $225, depending on a few factors. So how do you go about setting up an IRS payment plan? The IRS has actually made it a lot easier. If you go to their website, www.irs.gov slash payments, there's actually somewhere on the left-hand side that says payment plan. And once you click that tab, you'll be able to see all the Q and A and information in regards to setting up a payment plan, as well as the online prompts in order to do so. Typically when you sign up for auto debit with the IRS, that is giving them the authority to automatically debit your bank account once a month for the predetermined amount, you typically pay a smaller setup fee. This is why it's so important that you make estimated tax payments throughout the year. Making small payments quarterly, that is once every three or four months, is so much easier to do than paying a large lump sum at year end or possibly not even having the money you need to pay the IRS. When you don't pay the IRS estimated tax payments, you pay a penalty for that, approximately 5% of your tax due. And while that might not seem like much, it really starts to add up as your balance with the IRS grows. Sometimes my clients will tell me, I don't want to set up a payment plan. I'll just send them a bit of money every once in a while when I have it. You don't want to do that. You see, because in addition to having the authority to charge you interest and penalties, the IRS also has the authority to place a tax lien or levy against your bank accounts and property. So what is a tax lien? It is the government's right to place a hold or lien against your real estate property or bank account. And a tax levy is the legal right to seize that asset for the tax debt. So essentially, the levy is the legal right to the asset. The lien is them actually taking that asset from you. Now, while it typically takes a while for the IRS to place a tax lien and essentially do a tax levy, the IRS is not an agency to be played with. I've heard many stories of prospects or clients waking up to bank accounts wiped by the IRS from one day to the next. If you have an IRS debt, take it seriously. Make as many payments as possible and set up that payment plan. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it extremely insightful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez.